Hi boys and girls, welcome to today's math lesson. Before we begin, I would like you to make sure you have the following materials nearby. All right, and if you need to get them, pause and come back. You need your math workbook, number two, a whiteboard and a marker to do some warm up math problems, a pencil, one connecting cube, and one crayon. Okay, so if you need to pause, do that now and come back, we'll start the lesson, okay? All right, so today's lesson is compare and order lengths. Now, order in this case means putting them in a correct order that we want them to be, whether that's uh, by using a word or moving them in place, okay? And again, a, uh, our essential question for chapter eight is how do I term determine length uh, and time? Okay, so let's go to our first warm up question. All right, and this is also where you might want to use your uh, whiteboard to write the answer. The bandage is shorter than the feather. The feather is shorter than the clarinet. Is the clarinet shorter than or longer than the bandage. Pause and write your answer. Yes, the clarinet is longer, okay, than the bandage. All right, let's look at our next question right here. Okay, now write long, longer, and longest to compare the lengths of the objects. Now be careful, remember what they're asking. Long, longer, and longest. Okay, pause and write the words in order. So for this one, you could just put that answer first, this one second, and the answer third, and then you'll know which one goes with which picture. Okay, pause it and write the answer. Okay, so now remember I said with long, longer, longest, okay? You have to think about that, okay? Because you're, some people right away might put, oh, this one's long, but then you realize you're comparing it to two other objects. So butter would be long, the carrot would be longer than the butter, and here we go, the fishing pole is the longest. Okay, let's try to, something else again here with these three objects. Now this time they're asking us to write short, shorter, and shortest to compare the lengths of the object. Some people like to begin with shortest, so that kind of gets them figuring out which would go first and then how they would go from there. Whichever way it works for you, but remember, always look at all three pictures when you're, when you're looking and thinking your answer because you're comparing each to the other, okay? So remember, short, shorter, and shortest. Pause and write your answers. Okay, let's look for our answer right here. Okay, the band-aid is the shortest. Okay, the jump rope is short, but the xylophone is shorter than the jump rope. And then the bandage is the shortest of all. Okay, so we are going to go right now to our workbook page. Okay, it is page 569. And this is where you're going to need your connecting cube and the crayon. Okay, so if you need to have get those items or to turn to that page, pause the video and then come back. Okay, so <clears throat> in your book, all right, which I have here to show you, you can right here on this page, you're gonna lay this down and this is where you're going to lay in the box your connecting cube and the crayon. Place them in that green box. 
then they would like you to draw them, do the best you can, draw them in the box. So I'm going to do the best I can. As we know, I'm not very good at this on here sometimes. I'm going to draw my crayon a little better than yesterday, I think. Okay, there's my crayon. And for my cube, it's really just going to end up being a little box, right? So do the best you can drawing your two objects, okay? And if you want to do the little connecting part, depending on which way you have it laying in your box, okay? Now, here comes the next direction. Circle the object that is longer. All right, for me, it's my crayon. Okay, put an X on the object that is shorter. Right there. And that's it. That's what we had to do today for that. Okay, turn the page and go to our C and show. Now I will tell you that today for this lesson, some things I can hold up and show you, and then others we're just going to go by the pictures that are on the paper. I brought as many materials as I could, uh, you know, to show you for real. Uh, but we are going to have to depend on, for one or two things, we're going to have to depend on the book. So we're, you can compare and order the lengths of objects. So who remembers when, we, when you were in kindergarten? You had maybe a certain place in line, or you had the line leader, or you had the person who was the caboose, or in first grade sometimes they call them the light person who would turn the light out or close the door when they left the room. Well, that's in order, being first, second, or third. That's what it means when you order things. Now, in this case, we're ordering the lengths depending on which word we're using. So let's take a look at that. The pencil is longer than the scissors. The paint set is the longest. Okay, so here, all right, they are going by the words long, longer, longest. Okay, so the scissors are long, the, sciz the pencil is longer than the scissors, and then the paint set is the longest. Now in this case they're talking about using the words short, shorter, and shortest. Okay, the bookmark is shorter than the paintbrush. Okay, and the pencil is the shortest. Now, sometimes, uh, I'm sorry, the pen, sometimes for, um, sometimes I like to give children and students another way to think about doing short, shorter, shortest. If you were to look at this, okay, all right, the shortest is the, is the last one because we're going from short, shorter, shortest, okay? So just think about that, all right? When you're thinking of which is short, okay, the paintbrush. Which is shorter than the paintbrush? That's what you should do is use the words to compare the object to the next. So that will help you figure out the order that you want to put those in. All right, so now let's look at our next, okay. Now this is why I said I was using the um, some objects. I don't have... A tube of paint. While I may have a paintbrush, I don't have a tube of paint to compare it to. So we're going to do the picture for this. All right. Um, it's because it does say find objects in the classroom and then compare them. Circle the uh, the correct object. So the question here is which is shorter? Okay. Well, which one do you think would be shorter if you had a paintbrush and a tube of paint? Okay. What would be longer? And that looks. Uh, I'm sorry. Shorter. Okay, circle your answer. Now, in this, for the uh, pencil, I do happen to have a pencil. Let me get out my crayon here. And a crayon, which is longer? Which would you circle that's longer? Would it be the pencil or the crayon? 
Circle that now. Okay. Now for this one, they want us to put a paper clip. This is where I'm going to need lots of extra hands. All right, a paper clip. Okay. And oops, a glue stick and a marker. All right, so now they want us to figure out. They want to know long, longer, longest. All right, which object here would be long? Put number one under it. Which is longer? That would be two. What's the longest? That would be three. Okay. Now let's look at our answers and check them. Okay, in this picture, the tube of paint is shorter. And as I compared, just like here, the pencil is longer. Now, again, remember long, longer, longest. This is long, the paper clip, so that's one. But the glue stick is longer than the paper clip, so that's two. And the marker, the highlighter, is the longest of them all, so that would be three. Okay, if you need to pause it and check your answers again, certainly do that. What other objects could you use to compare lengths? What could we compare? Have you ever compared your shoes with someone else? See who has longer feet, maybe with a brother or sister or a friend. Have you ever compared hmm, your hair with somebody else? You stand next to each other and somebody else says, which is longer, which is shorter. There's a lot of different things you can always compare lengths of. Okay. All right. So once again, we're going to look for objects. I have them here already and compare them. Okay. So they want to know which is shorter. And I have a pair of scissors and some, some glue. Which, which is shorter, can you see? In fact, let me put the color might show up better this way. Circle the one that is shorter. Okay. Now they have number five is, which is longer? Okay. Which is longer? Here we go. Crayon compared to, I feel like I need to put paper behind this so you can see this better. All right, I do have it to the end. It's just not, my fingers are in the way. Okay, Oop, there we go, which is longer. Okay, all right, and here we go. Which one is shorter? That's right, the scissors. And which is longer? The crayon. See, they don't know which kind of, are you using a crayon that's new like this, or are you using a crayon that maybe is a piece of it? So that's why it says see students work. But I'm, I'm showing you, so that might be a little more helpful. Okay, now, oh, I've got these two. They want to write the number one for short, two for shorter, and three for shortest. So I'm going to show you the objects first. A notebook, okay, an eraser, right here, here's an eraser, and a hole punch. All right, there's the hole punch. Okay, now. They want us to do, here I laid it on top because I think it's a little easier to see. They want us to do short, one is, is short. And if you want to say, let's see, they, they gave us a number. Let's, let's start with the three. Which is the shortest here? Looking at these, where would you put number three for the shortest object? Write that now. Which is shorter? Number two. And now what's short? Put number one. Now when you compare your number one to your number two, is number two shorter than the number one? And the reason I'm asking that is so you can look here and then you can decide if you want to keep the numbers in the spot that they're at. Is number two shorter than number one? And is number three the shortest of them all, of the three objects? Okay, so that's kind of one way to, to check it. 
All right, let's look and see if we agree. All right, number one, the notebook is short. And number two is the hole punch. The hole punch is shorter than the book. And number three is the shortest of them all. Okay. I know this would, if you happen to have some objects like this and you want to go back and try it to, on your own, go ahead. It's a good way to practice. All right. Number seven. Okay. Um, I guess, is, I guess that's a, I'm not even sure if that's a pencil or a marker. Okay. So we're kind of going to uh, have to kind of use our imagination here because I don't have um, paint like that. Okay. So let's see. What do you think is long? Could it be the jar of paint? And what's longer than that? Maybe, I don't know if that's a crayon or a marker. And three is the longest. Well, I would guess that three could be the paintbrush. Honestly, boys and girls, I'm not sure. Let's look together. Ah, okay. We were right. Look at that. We were good. The paint is long. This marker is longer than the small jar of paint. And three, the paintbrush, is the longest of all. Okay, John has three, <clears throat> excuse me, John has three objects. A pencil, a connecting cube, and a crayon. All right, how should he or how should he order the objects from the shortest to the longest? Okay. If we're going by the shortest, which one is the shortest? That would be number one. I'm thinking that's what they want. And then the next one would be a little bit longer, right? Than the cube. And then the pencil could be the longest. Let's see if you wrote the same thing as they did. The cube is the shortest. The, two, the crayon is a little longer. And then three. See there? They're not being, they're not playing fair here because now they're mixing the two words together, which is how we would do it sometimes, but that's what it would be. This is the shortest, this is next, and this is the longest. Okay. Okay, let's go to the next one. Ah, uh, I have no iguanas. I can't help you for this. We're going to have to use the pictures. Okay. <laughs> no iguanas in the classroom. Okay. Tia owns three iguanas. How should she order the iguanas from the longest to shortest? So we're going to depend on this picture and say that Tia has ordered that, has drawn them the way they really look. So I want you to look at that and just keep in mind, since they're saying from longest to shortest, you would start with the longest. So the longest would be number one, and then the shortest would be three. Okay, since that's how they started it. All right, so pause and write your answer down now. Okay, what's the longest? Yep, that's the last one right there. And then between these two, which would come next? That's right, this one and three is the shortest. Jade, sorry, I couldn't show you the iguanas, but all out of them today. Okay. All right. Ah, look at this. Zoe. All right. Zoe writes one for long, two for longer, and three for longest. All right. They want us to they want us to tell why is Zoe wrong and we're going to make it right. Okay? Zoe, they just wrote a name. Okay? Don't worry about it. Okay. I know kids like to see it when they see their names in a book or on a on a film or video. Okay, picture, and here we go. Let's think about this. Well, what do you think, Zoe? Hmm, yeah, I think so, too. I think the numbers are in the wrong order. Okay, so Zoe in the math book put them in the wrong order, not Zoe in our classroom. Okay, so here we go. 
Zoe, oh, here we go, I've got to hit it again. There we go. All right. I didn't know why that's not doing that. All right, let's try this again. Okay. Because you don't want me to have to, do not want me to have to start, well, ah, oh, here we go. I have to start printing. It's so nice to uh, just type it. Zoe, put them in the, the wrong order. And here we go. Okay. Number one is the block. Okay. Two, is that chalk? Yep, that's chalk. And three is the pencil. Okay. So that's the order when you're answering for long, longer, longest. Okay, boys and girls. All right. Well, thank you for being so patient with me with holding up the, the items for you. And um, have a great day and I'll see you in small groups. Bye-bye.